All right, guys, it's Venage here with, well, you could say something I already did for Dark Souls 1. It's about this time it's for Dark Souls 2, and you know, like you most likely guessed already, it's about Cheat Engine. So, people requested that a lot to me, like, when do I do the Cheat Engine stuff for Dark Souls 2, because, you know, it's already out for quite some months. But I, you know, I have to say, I wasn't that keen on doing it for for several reasons. Number one, unlike Dark Souls 1, there's no real need to do a tutorial for this one, yeah? And why? At this point of the time, there are already pretty decent tables out there. Are pretty much self-explanatory and... You know, it's not like you need to do it all the way without any pointers and finding the stuff yourself again. It's way easier with those tables. And the only thing, the only reason I did that for Dark Souls 1 was because at that time there was not such a table out, so yeah. But because it's still requested and people don't seem to find those tables for some reason, I don't know why, they're in the cheat engine forum. But, well, this one it is. I will showcase those tables. So first of all, be aware that while doing this, to have Steam in offline mode, yeah? So when you connect here with Dark Souls... I'm not connected to Steam because Steam is in offline mode, so I can't play off online, and then you see it says offline mode up there. Keep that in mind. Second of all, keep in mind that even though the, the VAC is disabled at this moment, there's still a chance that they will enable it some day, you know, and even without it, keep in mind that I, I do not take any responsibility if you get banned for the for using cheat engine. Yeah, like I said, I recommend this only in offline mode, and even then, I cannot give you a guarantee that you won't be banned. I will. I'm not banned till now. Yeah, I'm. I'm still not banned, but that's not a guarantee forever. So keep that in mind. There's no responsibility I take here that you will not get banned and so does nobody. Nobody takes the responsibility. So you're responsible if you use Sheet Engine, if you decide to say, well I want Sheet Engine for Dark Souls too, yeah? So like I said, keep in mind that you're in offline mode. Steam offline. Not only the game but also Steam. And then let's just continue a character and show you guys something. So, and like you see, I'm in Majula right now. So let me open a table. The first of them, I, I will showcase you several tables. I think I feel it's only three, but you know, I will showcase them because there's no need for me to actually do a tutorial like for Dark Souls One, because those tables are pretty much decent and have everything in it you need if you use all three of them. So. Yeah, let me search for a table. The reason I don't have the tables open already is that I had a thing, the, the mistake that if I had all three open at once, that some options of the tables didn't work anymore. Like if I if I used the let's say table two, a several option of table one was not possible anymore. So that's why I don't have them all open right now. Let's start it. So. I will start with this one. You soon will see it because I will make you no. Know, I will just show it to you on LBS. So let me do that real quick. Cheat engine, yes. Wanna show? And there we go. Now I added the scene so it's big enough for you guys so you can read something. So you see that box glowing up there. You click on it and then select Dark Souls 2.exe. 
then you keep the current address list and code list, yes. So now cheat engine is basically you no know, bound to your table, however you call it. And now this table has several functions, let's start with it. So first of all the item quantity. You see I have 32 of the green blossoms and or well, better that you don't see now, but I have here let me just show you. That's the wrong one. Thirty-two. Yeah. Thirty-two of those. So let's go back to Cheat Engine. Just that highlighted item point, you click on it, you mark the box. And then you somewhere see the quantity. Double click on the value. And then just type 99 and you have 99 of it. As easy as that. So that's the item quantity thing. And, and what? I, but I have to say here something. For me at least, if I did not use one of the items before I closed the game completely again, I actually went back to the original of it. Like if I had only one and did them to 99 and did not use them and closed the game, and cheat engine again, and then load it back up. I had still only one, except I throw one on the ground or used one or whatever. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Just use one, then you know if you have 99, you can just use one. That's not that's not anything bad. So that's the quantity thing, the easier thing, and now. The next thing here is it has an item swap, yeah? So basically you can change an item into another item directly without making it all the, the long the long ways. So here as well it has a helper. Makes it extremely easy. Is no extremely easy. I will show you the helper as well. Click on the helper guys, mark it, and then something will pop up which I will include really soon. There it is. Yes, yes, and yes. You can see it now. It's basically the item list. There's a lot of items in it. And you know, you can go on different categories and all, and then if you search something you can just go to typed filter and then let's say king set or, or let's say you want the drake keeper set you can just type drake keeper and then you get all the great uh, drake keeper things and then if you want something of it yeah let's say you want the instead you want the black dragon great axe then you click here Click on set on the bottom, then just go back to the table. And then here you have the different things like desired l level of weapon and such. That's the upgrade how far it is. Black dragon weapons only go to 5 so you insert, f in insert 5. If you have a normal weapon you can insert 10. Then it's a desired quantity, it's not a consumable so just ignore that for now. And then desired infusion. For example, let's just set it to one for now. And then you can go back to your game. And every item you will drop now, till you un unmark the box or change what you want. Let's say we do just drop. No. We drop one of the corrosive urns will become that. And you see it, the one was fire. The infusion one. So one is fire. And then you can just test out what the others are. You can basically open the next table. And like I said, especially with this combination, the first table the item replacer didn't work anymore. I had to completely restart the game and only open the first table. Otherwise the item replacer would not work. But yeah, you get now. No, not this. This. 
something we don't need, so let me add a new table into the scenes. Just so you know, see what I do there. Let's check if it's the right one. Yes, it's the right one, like it seems. So here now you have a last bonfire thing, yeah? So, check. Ah, yeah, like I said, I forgot to bound it. Uh, like before, go to Dark Souls 2.exe. Otherwise, you know, it's not bound to your thing. Then tick the box and on the side where you can also download the table, he has also a list, the dude who made this table had also a list with different warp locations, so you know, you don't have to find them all yourself. Let's say you want to, I don't know, let's say you want to the Dragon Shrine, right? Then you can just go on the side, which I will link, so don't worry about that, guys. Go to your table, double click on the value, insert the, you know, the deck ID for it. Be really sure that you tick the box, yeah? It has it has to be ticked. And then you can just, you know, Homeworld Born or Aged Feather, whatever. And you should land on the place that you selected. Yeah, here, yeah, Dragon Shrine. So, that's it for this table, yeah, that's a short one. Because that's, that's a one for the war point, which is pretty nice if you combine it with the first one, because if you want to go NG+, plus, you can make a build way faster than, you know, normal. And now I want to show you a third table as well, because why not? Let's do the overload on tables. There it is, there's the next table. Edit it a bit bigger so you guys can see. Then you, you know, combine it with Dark Souls 2.x again, so I don't know how you call it. Now you have that character model here, you can click on it, you can you know, change you can he here change another thing for gender. Let's set this to zero if something happens. And there I'm male now. But let's set this back to one instead. <laughs> because I'm feeling for a reason on this character, it doesn't look good as male. Alright. So that's what you can do first of all. What else you can do is the model itself, like you see hairstyles, the color, eyebrows, beard, tattoos, even more advanced settings, the, the entire overall settings and stuff. I mean, they, those have numbers now, so I need to know those. Yeah, it's not that hard though. It's just, you know, you see how they are and just make it a bit smaller or bigger. Then, you know, test build as well. Which gives you well, all the stuff you can select in the first place. So that that's basically the three tables I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, there's some more. That's basically it. Like I said, because there's nothing I actually did here on myself, it's not a tutorial. It's just a showcase of those tables. Because I hadn't... I did not have to do anything for those tables, yeah? Not have to do anything. It's all... It's all normal. So, yeah. That's basically it for the, t the table showcase, guys, so... Thank you all for watching, and I will see you... ...whenever, and I will do more videos soon, like... 
I know that I haven't done any videos in quite some time and I still have to upload Persona 3D Answer. I will do that really really soon and just, you know, took a break for once, so... Yeah, don't worry, I will upload more videos. And like I said, keep in mind if you use this that... Even though VAC is not enabled right now, yeah? It can be enabled anytime and if you do really stupid stuff like infinite HP or whatever online, people can still report you directly over the Steam thing and while one report normally won't ban you, if you get a lot, something can happen, so keep that in mind. I don't take any responsibility if you get, you know, if you get kicked off Steam, so keep that in mind. That's basically all I had to say for today. So, use this really, really with caution. You know, don't do any shit and don't get banned. <laughs> so, like I said, it's it's your own responsibility if you want to use Cheat Engine or not for this game. However, thank you all for watching and, you know, I will see you whenever I upload a new video and you're interested in watching.